Adventures, this is Lepret83 coming at you with a video. This is a family backpack survival kit I made because we're going on a road trip and I just wanted to make sure that if anything bad happens, we'll be prepared, alright? So let's start off with the front pouch. That's the food pouch. Let's see where this opens. Over here. Alright. Open that up. It comes complete with a two-piece hobo kit. Comes with a fork. Oops, it's falling apart. Comes with a fork. All right, a spoon, and there's a knife right here behind the fork. You just pull that out. All right, very good hobo kit right there. All right, and I brought a bag of oatmeal because it's well preserved. It's well preserved and it'll last long. Sorry, I just got a message. Um, this is dry roasted nuts. Very good preservatives. This for a snack, I guess. If you get hungry, you just might need a little high calorie snack. Whatever. Then here's some Nutri-Grain bars. I brought those in because those are well preserved. But they kind of get mushed up, but you can still eat them mushed up. It's not that bad. Uh, bought a can of SpaghettiOs. Spaghetti rings. Whatever you need. And I, the, all, I have the stuff to cook this with. I also have a can opener. And this can opener right here. Alright. So, let's open this more. Nature Valley. Oats and honey. This is a lot of food, I guess. Oh, this is one of my best things. Pasta. Dry pasta. It's good because it lasts long and it's hard so it doesn't get crushed in the bag. You can just boil that up and it's ready. Alright. Oh, in this video... I kind of, in the end, I'm going to tell, the, the, I'm going to talk about the two channels that inspired me to make this survival pack. Alright, Scrambled O and Gorilla Tavern. Alright. Oh, alright, so that's all that's in the food pack. Alright, let's see what else is in here. I'm just going to put it on its back. Alright, because it keeps leaning. Alright, let's see what's in the right pocket. Open that up. This has a little bit more food. Jeff peanut butter. Then some more Jeff peanut butter. Good. This stuff is very good and well preserved. You can eat it by yourself or I mean eat it by itself or put it put some nuts in it or whatever. Here's some pencils. You'll find out why I have pencils later. Alright, that's all that's in the right pouch. Let's check out the left pouch. Alright, the left pouch. Measuring tape. I had this so you can measure the pieces that you're going to use in your shelter. <sighs> Gotta move this little chair. Alright, move the chair. No, let's bring all the food over here gonna put it all in a pile I made this so my family can eat for two to three days all right but after two to three days we're gonna have to start gathering all right and hunting I guess you could say all right here's pencils tools there this is luxuries this over here is going to be tools that I need. I'm going to put hobo kit over there. All right, let's open this up. See what else is in here. Waterproof case right here. All right, let's open it. All right. It has batteries in it, four batteries for my flashlight, and it has matches. All right. Put that over here in the tools. All right. This 
is a medicine kit. I supplied it all myself. All right. Let's get that stuff out. This is for cuts, scrapes, bruises, anything, really. Except I don't have, uh, I don't have some things in here that the other people have, like anti diarrheal that that was good but I don't I didn't have any of that we have cleansing wipes uh, we have band-aids these these are basically this is it has antibiotic in it this is antibiotic ointment you rub it on a cut and cleans it out then here are butterfly closers All right here's more one more cleansing wipe an NU gauze, another NU gauze, then I have some band-aids, and more butterfly closers, right. or whatever you call them. So if I mispronounce these, and just, just reading the labels, reading all the facts about them, what they're made of, and everything. Alright, let's check out what's in, what else is in here. Oops. All right, here we go. A flashlight and a knife, all right? And tin foil, tin foil. All right, flashlight goes with tools, knife goes with tools. Knife, this knife is the biggest knife I have, so really, that's it. This tin foil, using it as a reflective surface, if you want. I, I just gotta unravel it. You can use it as a reflective thing. You can use it to heat up something. Lots of different ways to use tinfoil. All right. Then I have a tape. Uh, no, a slide holder. This goes with necessities, I guess. Well, you don't really need it. This is luxury, sorry. This is necessities, tools, and food. Food's more... Necessity. Alright, so then we have tissues, luxury. Oh, this is very good, very good, very good. I have pliers, very good tool. Oops, dropped my batteries in my waterproof case. Alright, let's see what else I got in here. Is that it? Alright, that's it. Now it's time to go to the big boy pocket. I have a lot of things in this large pocket. All right. I have waterproof pants and a waterproof jacket right here in case it rains really, really bad. All right. And just to let y'all know, this is a mountain survival kit. So the, I'm guessing the water will be, there's going to be a lot of white water, so it'll be clean water, so I didn't have to worry that much about purifying. But if we need to purify the water, I will boil it, all right? This is a two-quart canteen. The human body needs one quart of water a day to stay healthy and to keep you alive, all right? So this is enough water for two people to have for one day. And I have another one. Wait, I'll, I'll show you that later, all right? This is another canteen of water. I have four people in my family, so that's enough water for everyone in my family to have for one day. All right. Whew. Here's my journal. That's why I have these pencils. This journal is used for making maps, writing notes, keeping track of the days, anything that'll keep you away from the verge of insanity. All right. So put that with the luxuries. Let's check this out. Oh, I forgot. Goggles. These are very good if... I don't really know why, but I just have a feeling you might need goggles, something to protect your eyes, like from moths, mosquitoes, spray bugs. Those are pretty bad. Spray bugs. Put it in tools. Actually, I'll put it in luxury. You don't really need it, but it's useful. Oh, all right. This is mess kit number one. And mess kit number two. Alright, you know what these are for? Alright. So I gotta move this ottoman in the book bag behind me. Alright. 
So, I'm just going to open one of these because whatever is in one of these is in the other. Alright? So just got to open it. Twist this thing. Alright. Alright. It has a plate. This plate number one. A pot. With something you can hold it up to cook. A cup, measuring cup. You can use that for the oatmeal over here and the pasta. Right. And here's the lid for the pan. All right. And then here's another plate. All right. And that's what's in mess kit one and two. Alright. Let's see if there's anything else. I don't really think there is though. There might be something. Nope. That's it. Alright. Well, now I'm going to go into my survival kit inspirations, alright? Gorilla Tavern, he is wonderful. You need to check out his channel. He is very efficient. He's very self-reliant, alright? He, he makes his own knife sheaths. He makes his own survival kits. He makes all, all sorts of things. He knows how to waterproof his matches. He knows how... To, he could fit about 50 things in this sardine can. He could fit about 50 things that you need for survival. He could put five days of survival supplies inside this little sort inside this little sardine can. All right. So this is basically just scrap stuff from around my house that I found very useful in making my survival kit. And now I'm going to go into scrambled L. I didn't really, I've learned about um, Gorilla Tavern and Scrambled O very recently, but as soon as I found out, man, I went crazy. I looked up all of their videos, I researched everything, alright? Scrambled O, the video I saw was him actually opening a container that he won. It came with a Kydex sheath and a survival pack from Gorilla Tavern because he'd won a contest, a building contest, and Gorilla Tavern had given it to him, and so I, he was like, check out Gorilla Tavern's video, and so I checked out his, I checked out all of their videos, it's amazing, you guys need to check it out, it's, it's phenomenal, you're, you're gonna feel like you need to have a survival kit, it's fun to make one, it's easy, if you know what you need, and, alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.